Well, right now, driving through Spokane is pretty challenging. That's just because of so many multiple construction projects that are causing traffic. So today, Krem 2's Amanda Rowley tracked down the projects that have the most impact on your commute. She shares where they are and when the traffic could return to normal. Amanda. Well, Mark and Whitney, right now, construction in Spokane is causing traffic delays, lane closures, and detours. Now, it all can be difficult to navigate all of this, so I narrowed down the four major projects that could impact your drive. The most recent construction project is at Division and Sprague. Emergency repairs here have closed the right two lanes of northbound Division from 2nd Avenue to Sprague. Crews are expected to be done in the next 10 days. Then there's the Riverside Avenue construction where several blocks are closed. From Division to Wall Street, Riverside is getting reduced to three lanes, making room for a new bike lane. The city of Spokane says that construction is expected to wrap up there in November. And believe it or not, construction on Thor and Freya is nearing the end. This project has sent traffic through several different detours since it started last March. But traffic flow is expected to return to normal when it's completed in the next 30 to 40 days, which could be sometime in November. Finally, there are traffic delays on the north side of the North Monroe Street Bridge. Traffic lanes there are temporarily reduced to two. Now, the city's website says the currently estimated completion date for this project is October 17th. Now you can track these and other construction projects in the city by visiting the city of Spokane's construction website. Now here on the map, it shows where all those projects are located. And when you click on a project, it'll give you more details of when it started, how much it's costing and the expected completion date. Now this may all be frustrating now, but the good news is that some of these construction projects will be clearing up here in the next few weeks, while others will make a significant progress here soon. Reporting in downtown Spokane, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.